We're going to be taking a look at the Wendover, Legrand, and actually every derby car in the BMG 0.22 update. This car is uh, actually quite peaceful for how fast it goes. This is a uh, front-wheel drive rally car. Well, not rally car, but feels like a rally car sometimes because of that. I mean, look at these takeoffs. This car has its pilot's license. That's going to be flying almost to a 46. We're going to pretend that this is the first time I did this run, and not like the third because I lost the original recording footage. Next up, we're taking a look at the Legrand wagon, which just looks perfect as a derby car, if I'm honest. Let's try and actually get a decent landing. Very nice landing on that second jump. It also happened to be like right in the power through that turn, which is great. Smooth landing, although bottoming out kind of hard. Clean flight. A little bit of a hop there. Let's see, we'll be taking that for a 48. Also, I was going to be 47. Not bad, though. So we keep rolling this car trying to get to the end, so... I figure that's got to be because it's a little bit slower than the wagon, so it's not clearing these jumps as well. Okay, I think we should keep a good amount of speed for that. Okay. Roll yourself, please. <laughs> no, really take this wide. Try to keep more speed. Okay, I do think we kept more speed this time. So we may actually get to finish a run. Ooh. Still, still not great. <laughs> Okay, so this one is not nearly as competitive, surprisingly. The wagon is a lot faster. We're going to be taking a look at some more of the derby configurations, because I don't think I've looked at too many of them since, like, 0.17 update, maybe? So yeah, there's some new ones to look at. Get a lot of a hop and a skip over some of these, but... I think we held our speed pretty well there. This is another one where you want to really go wide and carry as much speed as you can. Otherwise you'll start having the, the rear of the car bounce around and lose you speed over every jump. Okay. A little sketchy. I don't think we lost too much speed. But yeah, and... <laughs> Wait. That's amusing. Adding more weight to the equation with the H-series. Let's see if it has the power to make up for it.
not too bouncy, all things considered. Just aim for that spot there. Not too bad. speed slightly awkward takeoff probably lost some speed bottoming out there definitely handles like a van and doesn't struggle too much to keep up with the slower cars of the pack, but not especially fast. So they removed the yellow paint for some reason on the pickup derby car. I also think it might be a little more understeery than it previously was. Quite the flight. What just... Huh? <laughs> Why did I just lose power for a second? Oh well. Did it again. Well, it's... Taking off just fine. Definitely one of the faster cars. Probably the fastest of these so far in a straight line. So the pickup kind of stole the paint scheme of the pessimistic. Okay, doesn't really have the power in third gear there, but flew through the air nicely. This is basically a derby rally car. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is going to be quick here. Gearing isn't bad either. This third gear holds nicely around the course. Yeah, that's... That's quite fast. I've had to do multiple attempts in this Grand Marshal because it keeps going too fast and flying over the landings. Also, we will be back for the muscle cars after I've checked every other car, since I have driven the muscle cars on here before. That's an awkward takeoff, but we're good. In fact, we're gonna be going too fast. Oh, why did it? Sometimes I lose power randomly in some of these cars. This one is terrifyingly fast. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the Covet, which I would assume is going to be one of the lightest, if not the lightest, of the Derby cars. Okay, kind of a springy car with short gearing. question is, do we hold? I think we want to drop into second for this part here. Yeah, that felt good. But here, I don't know if I... Probably don't hold. Probably third. 
We're like right in between gears. Yeah, I think we lose most of our speed to the gearing on this one. And then the last one before the muscle cars, we have the 200 BX. Okay, we're off to a good start. We might have to slow down a good bit. Flying. Even with that miss shift, we are flying. Ooh. Almost misjudged that completely. Yeah, that handily beat the Grand Marshal, even with mistakes. Alright, now to the first of the muscle cars, the Moonhawk. want to hold the gears as much as we can, but we don't want to over-rev them too hard. So sometimes you gotta... You gotta floor it to get the car to keep the nose up. This is not one of those times. So, this is going to be somewhere in the middle of the pack, not too slow, not too fast. Now we're driving the Blue Buck, and fun fact, if you talk about all of the derby cars by their in-game derby names, I'll probably have no idea what you're talking about because I'm bad at remembering them all. which is going to make things harder. I don't know if third gear is the choice there, but you got to commit. <laughs> okay, and that wasn't too bad, actually. That's going to be pretty slow, but not the slowest. I would go to the H series. And now the final car, the good old Barstow. Okay, the gearing seems better suited to this track. Nice flight there. Handling feels good in this corner. Okay, a little bit, uh, a little bit bouncy on that landing. Tried to roll on me, but I managed to counter steer it. That makes the Barstow the fastest derby muscle car, but definitely still more middle of the pack. 
terms of all of the derby cars.